What's up people? Today we're gonna go clean some big ass tires. Let's do it. Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Building Boot Camp. So I've kind of been bad with this series, I keep forgetting to film what I'm doing, but at the moment we're driving back with mother. Driving back from um, the construction place where I got the sandbags. We went there to get some more sandbags So I got another four sandbags today, which should be enough to complete my sandbag collection, which is very exciting stuff um, But more what we're looking for at the moment is a scaffolding pole or like a metal pipe Because um, we're gonna try and build a yoke if you're not sure what a yoke is. It's basically just a Long thing you put on your back so like a long pole gonna rest on your shoulders over your back um, and then you have weights hanging down from either side and you just walk with those weights hanging on your shoulders so we're gonna try and build one of those um, we bought a PVC pipe however that was not sturdy enough it bent as soon as I put uh, any heavy weight on it so we need a metal scaffolding pipe so looking out for one of those now they sadly didn't have one at the construction shop so literally just driving down the road and keeping my eye out looking everywhere for construction shops or for metal poles lying on the road um, because that's how exciting my life is <laughs> right now literally just looking at any like fallen poles and random things on the side of the road thinking can I use that so yeah definitely getting creative today we're gonna go and clean up the big ass tires and we're gonna finish making the sandbags so I'll see you back at the house That's all you need, is it? Yeah, you can do it. Roll it on out. Just aim towards that tyre, so it doesn't hit yeah, the other. Right. It's in line. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Watch yourself, because yeah. it's just towards you. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nice. That would be the end of Pete, crushed by a tyre. Alright. Now we have to move this. So you can see there's a lot of like grime and dirt on these tires. They are some dirty ass tires. Who knows what they've been rolling around on. So we're going to roll them out over there and give them a good scrub. Get them as clean as possible. Of course they will still continue to get dirty as we flip them around and roll them around on the ground. But we'll get as much of this off as possible so um, people don't get disgusting hands when flipping these bad boys. Okay so this is the 120 kilo tire. This is the before. See all the dirt marks all on there. Look at that. That nasty. So to clean it, we're going to be using this hose, which has not much power to be honest. So we're just going to be like doing a bit of that. Going to be using this hard brushed broom over there. Got to be hard brushed so it gets in between and uh, all the grooves and things and really gets rid of the mud. And that's just some like washing up liquid. So let's hose this baby down and get to work. I'm getting like a, I'm getting like a workout in here, just trying to clean this tire. Literally using, 
using this broom, just holding it with like one hand and trying to scrub at the tire as hard as you can. It's killer on the forearms. Good way to work your grip strength, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm not trying to work out now, I'm trying to clean a tire, so let's move on. All right, and here's the after for tire number one, 120 kilo tire. As you can see, all that kind of mud and crap that was in the rims or around here. Pretty much all gone now. Yep, look at that, pretty clean. I mean, it's never gonna be perfect. Like I said, it's gonna be rolling around on the ground. That's what it's for, but I'd say pretty good. We got most of the crap that was on there off now. So um, now on to tire number two, the 80 kg tire, which is uh, deceivingly bigger than the 120 kilo tire. Okay, tire number two, 80 kg tire. This one is real dirty. Look at what we're dealing with here. Got mud all around the entire thing and all over this part. And this side, yeah, just as bad. So this one's gonna get a real good scrub. Lucky tire. Okay, so first we've gotta roll it out. Good thing is, these tires are very easy to roll. Not so easy to flip, but rolling them, no problem. All right, so I'll just stand this baby up here. Ain't they beautiful? the after for tire number two the 80 kg tire now not 100% spotless but pretty much as good as we're gonna get it I've been scrubbing for like over an hour now and uh, some of this dirt is kind of just engraved you know it's just become part of the tire but this is one side These are the sides as you can see you see not really any dirt coming off in the hands and on this side, this was the really bad side. Now, not so bad. So yeah, done tire number two, tire number one. And um, now that I've cleaned them, let's go get them dirty again and flip that bad boy. I've already flipped the 120 kg one. Now I wanna have a go at flipping the 80 kg one. So let's do it. And after that one flip, my nice clean tire is now covered in grass. So like I said guys, that clean was just to get rid of all of the kind of grime that was previously on there because I didn't know what that was. Of course it's not going to stay clean, we're rolling it around, we're flipping it around. That's the idea, to get dirty and fun with it, so um, yeah, that's it. So a few of you guys have asked me how much these tires cost me. Um, to be honest, absolutely nothing at all. Um, I got these kindly given to me uh, by someone who knows someone um, so if you are looking to start up a boot camp or anything you just want these tires to flip in your own garden for some reason the thing to do is to go and find someone who knows or who works in uh, with big containers or tractors so um, I believe one of these is a tractor tire the other one is from those big containers those big shipment containers um, so go find them they need to get rid of them anyway it doesn't cost them anything to get rid of them so they're usually more than happy to let you take it as long as you have some kind of means of transporting it oh <sighs> So one last thing before I roll these tires away, if you're going to get yourself a pair of tires, make sure you store them somewhere where they're not going to fill up with rainwater, because that is the perfect breeding ground for a lot of insects. So I'm going to use this tiny little shovel over here to meticulously scoop out all of the water that's remaining in there, one shovel at a time. I don't know why I thought this was fun, it stopped being fun after like the first two minutes of cleaning the tires. I've been doing this for over an hour now. Oh, here we go. That was not very effective, was it? Let's try again. Okay, this is gonna be a long evening.
Goodbye.